Good morning, my name is Kim Carlisle and we have a shop full of Heise glassware. Our shop is located just north of Indianapolis, Indiana, and we are open at this time by appointment only. You might get a pencil and paper handy. I'm going to show you our email address here in just a minute. Today's video is Half Price Thursday. Half Price Thursdays, where we pull items out of this room or we go to storage, get items, put them on a table outside this room, and everything will be sold for just one half the marked price. I'm going to show you our email address. Again, my name's Kim Carlisle. Email is the letter K, C-A-R-L-I-S-L, at A-T-T dot N-E-T. Please note there's no E on the end of Carlisle on the email address. Here's a quick little shot of our shop. If you haven't joined us before for one of these videos, you can buy things this morning. We don't have to ship it. We can hold it for a couple weeks until you buy more items out of other videos. That way we're not sending you a box that's just half full of glassware. We can actually fill it up for you. I'm gonna back out of the room, give you a quick preview of what's on the table this morning. This morning, anything you see with red dots on it, we went to an auction here lately at Tom and Nila Bretterhoff. They were authors, wrote several books on high Z glassware, and we picked up a few things from that auction. So anything with a red dot, it come out of Tom and Nila's collection in case you had a fondness for them and you want to have something that just come out of their collection. The best way to get something is if you see it, you call, text, or email us and tell us you are interested in it not you ask if it's available. That wastes time and you may not get the piece at all. So we're gonna start right back here in the corner. The first piece we have is a sterilizer jar made by Heise for the John B. Hood Company, Boston, Massachusetts, is made in USA. Heise made these sterilizer jars for this distributing company that distributed them to, to hospitals, dentists, and medical centers. We do not have the lid, it's just the bottom and it's priced $45. I have a stack of 12 8 inch colonial plates, each signed here in the middle, middle, no scratches on them, and they're $4 a piece. You can take one or all 12. Crystallite, two part handle conserve. This piece was actually sold by Heise to the Hawks Cut Glass Company. Hawks cut the little finial off of it, added their sterling silver handle to it, and then they added a cutting all the way around the bottom. On the inside, they cut the little diamond H out of both sides, and then they signed it Hawks in the center of the bottom. Right down here, it has the word Hawks in it. Very nice little piece, and it's priced $60 before the discount. Here's the first piece we've got out of Tom and Neil's collection. It's a Yeoman Center Handled Sandwich Tray. It has a diamond H on each side of the handle. It has a cutting in it that's very similar to Heise's Liberty pattern. It's priced $35 before the discount. Have McGrady, seven ounce syrup, has a pressed handle right here on it, the square over the top, and it's priced $20, and half price, $10, the price of the lid's worth that all by itself. And another McGrady syrup, if you collect these in color, the crystal one's a little hard to find. Here's a small size of five ounce, and it's also $20. Empress, Sahara, mayonnaise, ladle. Ladle sign, the mayonnaise is signed behind one foot, and here's a little Sahara plate that goes right along with it to carry your mayonnaise around on it. And the set is $45 before the discount. Three pieces. Empress Individual Creamer and Sugar in Sahara. $20 for the pair. Have a pair of Peerless. Has some little pleats going around the bottom. Salt and pepper shakers. Pretty sure it's original top. They're clean on the inside. That's $25 for the pair. Here's a high Z marmalade and cover. This actual marmalade is called Weaver. It has a Liberty cutting on it. It's both gray and polished out cut. And the lid also has a cut on it. It's $45. Here's another piece with Liberty cutting. It's a plain and fancy tumbler. It's $15. Does have a little chip here on the back side of it. Hard to find tumbler. Greek Key 12 inch celery dish has the diamond H in the middle. It's 12 inches long, just ever so slight little bitty nicks underneath of the corners, and it's $25. To go along with it, here's the 8 inch size. 
It's got a little bitty blemish on the inside edge of it, right about there where my thumb is, and it's $15 before the discount. It's marked. Have two handled jelly dishes. We have one jelly dish. It's been finished off. It's $17.50. The bottom has been ground and polished in the factory. If you want a piece that was stolen out of the factory, you want this jelly. You can see the bottom has never been finished off. It's got a ring on it. It should be polished all the way across the bottom. It does have black stuff in there that comes out of the mold. It just never was polished. And it's $15. Here's a Greek key foot and net cup. We have eight of these available. You can take one or all eight. They're signed in the middle of the bottom, and they're $20 a piece. Five crystallite little ashtrays. They're a dollar a piece. I see this one's marked. They may not, may not all be marked. I don't know. Tricorn Flamingo three, three light candle holder. Excellent color in this. Nice light pink color. They're $165 for the pair. Another piece of Great Key. Great Key with two size puff boxes. This is a smaller size puff box. Signed inside the middle. Original high Z lid on it. And it's $110 before the discount. Here's a very unusual piece. It's a good morning orange juice set. It actually says good morning on it. Here's a robin singing in a tree, all acidettes. This one has been bumped at one time toward that handle and there's a fracture in the handle. It is priced $85 before the discount. Ridgely, nice little gold ormolu footed little ashtray. Has a Ridgely ashtray in it. The middle of the bottom is signed Apollo on it. Nice little piece here, $10 before the discount. Usually we have several McGrady syrups. These McGrady syrups, if you notice them, they have a squared handle. It's actually molded with the syrup when they made it. They had another style of syrup. And this is a colonial syrup. It has an applied handle to it. They made it in three sizes. We have all three sizes available. You might want to reference these by, this is syrup number three. It is $25, it's a 12 ounce size. Syrup number two. I'm sorry, syrup number four, which is a seven ounce syrup, has applied handle. These have good handles, no fractures in them, and it's $20. And then the smallest size, have all three sizes, is syrup number five, is $20, good handle. And these syrup lids, I think, are dated 1910 on them. Here's a reproduction Heisey sign put out by HCA. It's marked HCA right there. It's in cobalt blue. Has Heisey on this side. You turn around, has Heisey on the other side. And it's priced $30, $30 before the discount. Mercury, short candle holders. Excellent color on these. Moon Gleam. They're priced $25 for the pair. Of course, candle holders. Always compare the bases. They're the same size, so you're good to go. Empress Sahara, little plate. You can put this under the mustard if you have it. It's $10. Here's another syrup. We're going to call this syrup number six. It's colonial design, but it's an altogether different shape than what you usually see out there on the market. It has applied handle. Handle's good. does have quite a bit of wear on the outside, and it's $25 before the discount. Crystal Light Coasters. They're $3 a piece. You can take one or all eight of them. Here we have a little syrup. This was cut by Lewis and Neblet. It used to have the diamond dates there on the spout. You can see where they cut the spout, where they to take the diamond dates off. Nice little wheel engraving. I actually brought along the Lewis and Neblet catalog this week so I can show it to you. Here's a syrup price right here at Lewis and Neblet. They even use Heisey's number, which is number 362. That's exact cutting is what you're getting on that syrup. Dated about 1910, the cutting is. I believe this is a Regency candy box bottom. It's divided. It's priced only $25. I sold these, one of these a couple weeks ago. It was three. Well, it was $225, and the only difference was it had a lid. But here, you, you're halfway there for $25 before the discount. Thumbprint and panel. Pair of handle holders in Sahara. $110 for the pair. Now we have a few pieces of stemware that come out of Neela and Tom's collection. Here's a Wabash goblet with a front neck etch, and it's ten dollars. They had a lot of cuttings in their collection. Here's one that looks a little bit like Adam cutting, but it is not Adam. It's twelve dollars and a half. Looks like a lady leg stem. 
Here's a Jamestown stem with a very elaborate cutting on them. Some of these they advertise as being prototype cuttings. It's $15. Here's a little Gayoso sherbet. I see a couple little nicks on this one, and it's $5. And it has this nice little cutting. Here's a Jamestown orange juice with Barcelona cut. It's $8. Here's a Yorktown cocktail glass, a little nick on the top with a nice cutting on it is $6. And last but not least, here's a Tudor fruited sherbet. And here's the name of the cutting. It's spelled E-R-U-I-D-I-C-E. -E. This is the exact same one that they have pictured in their book. And it is $15. Have one plantation fruited oyster cocktail and it's $20. We have five crystallite clarets. They're four and one quarter inches tall. They're $15 a piece. You can take one or all five of them. Diamond point, we have four of these. They're marmalade dishes. They're $8 a piece. Each one of them is signed. You can take one, two, three, or all four. Twist two-part relish in Sahara. Priced $85, it's marked on the back of this handle here, right there on the handle, it's in good shape. Jack B. Nimble, tall candle holder, Jack B. Nimble toy candle holder, marked very clearly with the diamond H, it's priced $8. Dawn Leaf Relish, marked on the inside with the diamond H, and it's $25, no crazing on that one. Here's a very lovely little piece. It's a little pickle dish, probably about six inches long. $17.50 has this real elaborate little cutting on it. Going all the way around. Nice little piece. That concludes our video for this morning. If you see anything you're interested in, you can call, text, or send us an email. And just remember, I don't want to make any money. I just love to sell Heise glassware. Thank you and goodbye.